ant and the grasshopper. One summer's day, a lazy grasshopper was chirping, singing, and enjoying the sun. The grasshopper saw an ant working very hard to gather food. The grasshopper called out to the ant, Stop your silly work and have fun with me! No, replied the ant. I am gathering food for winter. I suggest you do the same. But the grasshopper simply ignored the ant. The grasshopper spent the rest of the sunny days having fun. When winter finally began, the grasshopper couldn't find anything to eat. He searched for food everywhere, but everything was buried under the snow. He remembered the hard-working ant. He went to her house and cried, I am hungry. I cannot find anything to eat. The ant felt pity on him. The ant called the grasshopper inside and gave him food. The grasshopper ate happily and promised the ant that he would never sit idle in the days before winter. Moral of the story? Be responsible and prepare for days of necessity. The Hare and the Tortoise Once upon a time, a tortoise was walking on the road. A hare saw him and started laughing loudly. Ha ha ha, look at you! You are so slow! The tortoise got angry and challenged the hare to a race. The hare immediately agreed, saying, Why not? I'm faster than you. I can beat you anytime. On the day of the race, the hare and the tortoise arrived at the starting line. The tiger waved the flag to signal the beginning of the race. The hare ran very fast, while the tortoise slowly followed behind. The hare was quite ahead of the tortoise in no time at all. He saw that the tortoise was walking slowly far behind him. The hare was so sure about winning the race that he decided to take a little nap under the tree. While the hare was dreaming, the tortoise continued walking slowly and went ahead of the hare. The hare woke up from his nap and saw the tortoise reaching the finish line. He started running, but it was too late. He couldn't reach there before the tortoise. The tortoise won the race. The hare started crying because he had lost the race to the slow tortoise. Moral of the story? Slow and steady wins the race. Once upon a time, next to a big forest, lived a little girl with her mum and dad. Each time the little girl went into the forest, she wore a red hood. Everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mum had baked a cake. The cake was a present for Red Riding Hood's grandmother. Grandmother lived on the other side of the forest. Red Riding Hood's mum asked her to take the cake to Grandma. Mum told Red Riding Hood to keep on the pathway 
and not stop anywhere. She told her not to talk to strangers. Mum and Red Riding Hood waved goodbye to each other. Little Red Riding Hood went into the forest. She had a basket on her arm with the cake inside. A big bad wolf was watching her. He was very hungry. Little Red Riding Hood did not see him. He came beside Red Riding Hood. The wolf tried to sound friendly. He asked Red Riding Hood where she was going. She told him she was going to see her grandmother on the other side of the forest. The big bad wolf told Red Riding Hood that she should pick some flowers for Grandma. As Red Riding Hood was picking the flowers, the wolf ran off. He wanted to get to Grandmother's house before Red Riding Hood. The big bad wolf arrived at Grandmother's house. He knocked on the door. Grandmother asked who it was. The wolf changed his voice and said it was Red Riding Hood. Grandmother said the door was open. The big bad wolf let himself in. Grandmother saw him and began to scream. Before she could do anything, the big bad wolf swallowed Grandmother up. The big bad wolf was not satisfied. He wanted to eat Red Riding Hood as well. The big bad wolf dressed himself in grandmother's clothes. He climbed into her bed. He waited for Red Riding Hood to arrive. Red Riding Hood came to grandmother's house. She knocked on the door and asked if she could come in. The big bad wolf changed his voice. He sounded like her grandmother. He told her to come in. Red Riding Hood said what a deep voice her grandmother had. The wolf said it was better to greet her with. Red Riding Hood moved closer to her grandmother. She said what big eyes she had. The wolf said they were better to see her with. Red Riding Hood said, What big ears Grandmother had. The wolf said they were better to hear her with. The wolf told her to move closer. Red Riding Hood said, What big teeth she had. The wolf told her they were better to eat her with. The wolf jumped out of the bed. Red Riding Hood screamed. Red Riding Hood ran from the house. The big bad wolf chased her. She saw a woodcutter. Red Riding Hood told him that the wolf had eaten her grandmother. The brave woodcutter picked the big bad wolf up. He shook him and the grandmother came out. She was shaken but safe and okay. The woodcutter, grandmother and Red Riding Hood all watched the wolf run away. They were happy now. The big bad wolf had gone. Red Riding Hood and her grandmother 
thanked the woodcutter. Little Red Riding Hood told her grandmother and the woodcutter that she had learnt a lesson. She would always follow her mother's instructions and never talk to strangers again. നിങ്ങൾക്കിതിഷ്ടമായെങ്കിൽ ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാൻ മറക്കരുതേ കൂടുതൽ വീഡിയോകൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ലഭിക്കാൻ ബെല്ലൈക്കൺ ക്ലിക്ക് ചെയ്യുക